you. Master Chia, I've been reading your books for many, many years. I'm very honored for you to be here and lend us your time and your presence and your knowledge. Can you just tell anyone that is listening who you are? For anyone who doesn't know who you are, can you tell, please? I'm the uh, Ming Tech Chia, and the one that creating the universal healing Tao and the healing Tao system in the world about the practical, about the Tao and the Tao of longevity yes please continue and also what is chi can you tell us what is chi we actually the west uh talk a lot more we call energy in the chinese world what we call medical qigong and in the west now they're talking about energetic medicine in the future i mean energy is the energetic uh, medicine of the future because energy is everything. The whole beginning of all the Chinese, the Tao practice, it all talk about Qigong and a medical Qigong. That means the energy that you can accumulate or you can uh, produce or you can keep or you can circulate, this is your energy because mm -hmm. we need energy every day to do things. But people only use one, or they, they, wear, uh, they don't know how to use them in proper way. So they lose, the, you know what I mean? They don't use the energy very efficiently. Mm -hmm. So we say conserve and recycle is the first step. Mm -hmm. So everybody can be very simple, conserve and recycle their energy. Like they say that we, we have oils to use for 200 years, so number one, we have the five alternative one. Number two, you have to conserve and recycling it. Mm. So if we conserve it, we can use the oil to 400 years, 600 years, 800 years, 1,000 years. Mm -hmm. And this is called a very simple, conserve your energy and find out some energy from alternative way, or we call chi, mm -hmm. from the food, good chi from the food, good chi from the environment, Gucci from the nature, Gucci from the planetary, Gucci from the universe. We can take in, we have to digest them, absorb them, and elimination them also, the chi outside. So they call qigong. How to mm -hmm. practicing the chi that around us and use them. Mm, okay, yes. Yeah, very, very interesting. So this knowledge has not entered the Western medicine system yet. So there's not very much science behind moving this energy in your body. What are some of the ways that we can move this energy through our body? Uh, everybody has bioelectromagnetic power. But all the people know that, okay, I need to eat, I need to rest, I need to drink, I need to breathe in order for me to have energy. But in the Tao said, other than that, you have to learn how to eat proper way, so we call a five element nutrition way of eating food. That means a simple way, you just eat five major color, five major smell, five major taste, and five major nutrition. What the food have nutrition with color, that is a major part of simple, simple food. Eat proportionally. And eat in the morning, eat like a king, because there is a stomach time, seven to nine stomach time. Mm -hmm. And in the lunchtime, eat like a prince, because they, in the lunchtime, it's only the hard time, hard period, and the small intestine is digestion, uh, absorption time. So in the seven to eight is digestion time, one to three is the absorption time, and distribution time. Okay, the heart distributes all the nutrition out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And in the evening, you don't have anything. It's only the clean up, prepared to clean out the system. So you don't eat like a, a baker, baker, you see? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because in the Chinese, they say for a thousand years, they said if you eat a big, big meal in the evening, you only take one portion that mm -hmm. are feeding mm -hmm. out. Another three portion you are giving, you are feeding the doctor. And nowadays we said one in the evening, you eat very big meal. You are three portion of the food that you eat now. You are feeding the hospital and doctor. Mm. So it's not very good for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
So, so Master Chia, when there is a blockage in the system, it manifests as illness or disease, right? Yes. So then, how do we recognize when there is a blockage in the energy body? Now, in the Chinese, they are very, very clear about this. They call a meridian, or we call a channel, or the energy flow flow. So in the West, we know that energy has to flow, but we don't have a channel for that. And we only know that the energy runs into the system, but there are a channel like a, a acupuncture point. In the Tao practice, we also have channel. So we call the first step, my dream. From when I learned from my master 55 years ago, I said, my dream is everybody in the world have to open in microcosmic because you're born with this. So the microcosmic, it runs from the perineum up mm-hmm. to the coccyx, up to the spine, all the way up to the brain. It passing to all the nervous system and the brain system. Mm-hmm. And it coming down, coming down to the nose, to the nostril, coming down to your throat center, your tongue, come out to the heart center, the throat center, thyroid, parathyroid gland, heart center, the thymus and the heart, and down to the organ system. We call the the yin channel. We call the conception channel. Mm-hmm. So coming mm-hmm. down, it, it, it activates all the the internal organ, the lung, the liver, the gallbladder, all these things. They are running down all the way to the somo in, uh, intestine. We call the tan tian. We call a place you can store energy. So the most important part in the Tao is the tan tian, or we call a place. It's the center of the digestion, absorption, elimination. When this center are not good, that means absorption, uh, digestion, absorption, not good. We call the navel area. Actually, mm-hmm. the easy way to find is the berry button. Mm-hmm. And around the area is the center of the digestion, absorption, elimination. This is the biggest organ we have. If we take them out, we have nothing left. Mm-hmm. You see? So mm-hmm. if, if you focus on that, and in this area, the West discovered this, that this intestine, intestinal, or we call gut brain, like a battery can store energy. And that's what the Tao discovered 6,000 years ago. The West discovered them 100 years ago, but they don't do anything with it yet. Mm-hmm. In the Tao, said, if you focus on this, you can collect and store and charge energy. Mm-hmm. And when you need it, you can have it. Like when we eat a lot, a like sugar or like this thing, we have a lot of energy mm-hmm. and we have to burn and take it out. But if we have more energy, we can store them when we need to use it. Hmm. Okay. It's very, very, very interesting. So all of these systems are connected together. So you said the Don Tien is the storage area, right? Yes. So which system is the most important that we should focus on? The, in the beginning of the Tao, we said you have to focus all the energy from all the rest of the body. So some people are so hot in one area, so hot in the head, and really cold in the bottom. But the Tan Tian are built to store energy. The very important is the Tan Tian are built to store energy, but we don't know it. We let the, the heat a lot in... We're so exciting, we're so stressed, the heart beats so far. Mm-hmm. And we are worried so much, we are thinking so much, We and the brain is active so much, so it's so hot, so hot, so hot. So now the, the brain is so hot, the heart is too active, so it's very hot. But below that, it, when you're too hot up there, it brings all the energy up. Now you don't have energy, and the heart is not good to overheat, and the brain is not good to overheat, because... But they are moving part. Brain think faster than lightning. And the heart pump all the time, creating so much heat. So we said, be cool, boy. You must keep your heart cool down. And you must keep your brain cool. Okay? And the way you do is you, you sing your mind. You lower your heart. Then you focus in the narrow area. That is the major key in the Tao practice. If you do this alone, just do this alone. You have a lot of more energy and you don't overheat your brain and heart. And that is the major part we call the Tan Tian. And we say that is the center of the digestion, center of the absorption, center of the elimination, and serve like a battery 
and it can digest energy also and store mm-hmm. energy and you can use them anytime when you need it. Mm-hmm. And Master Shia, you get into very spiritual metaphysic practices and you talk about this inner alchemy, like this immortal inner alchemy, this cultivating the energy for this immortal spirit body. How many bodies do we have? Is It's the physical body, the astral body, emotional body, and mental body? In the Tao, we look at this way, okay? If, you, if people believe that they have a soul and a spirit, okay? So in the Tao said, our soul and spirit is intelligent energy, and they have no form, okay? So that's why they need to come to our body and reside in our organs, so the body is a big container because there are no, no form. Spirit in no form. They have to stay like the air that we breathe in no form. Only if we put a balloon, a Mickey Mouse, you put an air in the Mickey Mouse, it looks like Mickey Mouse. If you put <laughs> yes. an air into an underdog, it looks like underdog. Or if you put <laughs> yeah. an air into whatever you want to believe, it, be, uh-huh. it becomes that. Okay? Yes. So yes. God is no form or we call spirit in no form. So it's no form because they're energy. So they're no form. But when they're no form, they can disperse. And then why the souls we come to us, they need to stay in a place they have form. So our organs actually is a container for them. Mm-hmm. And our body is a big container. So in the Tao believe that you have at least five soul and spirit inside us. They're running us and one higher spirit in the brain. They're running every operation. When we don't have enough chi or energy, the soul and spirit left us. When they left us, they have no form. So in the Tao said, you have to create a form. So we have an energy body or we call soul body. And we have another spiritual body we call a spiritual body. Okay. So physically, we have physical, we have energy, and we have soul and spirit. So at least we have three, but our three you split now into another five because they're all involved with energy. Everything is energy. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So when, Master Chia, when a person is suffering, let's say a person has some mental illness or they have depression or they have PTSD in the military or someone is depressed, like a teenager is depressed. Can you talk about how does depression manifest in the energy body? We should talk about the physical first. Okay. And okay. it manifests, it, it affecting the energy body, or we call it emotionally. Now, in the West, they don't recognize that, but we recognize only that in a love store in the heart. Yes, everybody, everybody believe that. Yes or no? Love Joy, yes, happy, yes, in the heart. Yes, Everybody. Yes, so yes. we just passed the Valentine Day. Are you going to send your loved one with a black kidney? I love you and send them a black kidney. We're not going to send our loved one a black kidney. We send right. them a red heart. Symbolic, right. I love you. But in the Tao say, hey, how about an hatred? I hate you. Now we also believe that it's stored in the heart. Okay? Hatred store in the heart. Hatred, impatience has in the store in the heart. Now we come and talk about where is the fear, phobia, and trauma store? Mm-hmm. In a thousand, hey, listen, it's stored in the kidney. Very simple. If you believe that, yes. Now you believe that uh, human, everybody know that we're born with our recording key. Yes? Somebody says something very really bad to you, what do you do? You remember it. You're recording now. And you're mm-hmm. repeating again to the people. You make another recording. So we call, we are copy Chang Fai every day, every day, every day. Mm-hmm. But we never believe that or we never know that I have delete key. Simple. You believe it? If you say, I have no delete key, only God can forgive my sin. Only I have to confess to the priest or the psychology. So we are depending so much on that. But in the Tao said, if you believe that fear, phobia, trauma store in the kidney, so in the Tao said, very simple, look into the kidney and looking left and right, delete them. And looking left and right and spiral energy in the kidney is the delete key. And that's why the whole key 
And now we say anger, frustration, jealousy, and we store in the liver. And this is one the Tao talking many 6,000 years ago, and they have a way to handle all this emotional, and nobody can do it unless you want to do something with your own emotional. And you believe that you have a delete key, you can delete them. If you don't believe that you have a delete key, but you have only have copy key, I don't think you're gonna buy a computer and there are no delete key. They only have copy key. You're not mm -hmm. gonna buy it. And God built us, you're born with a delete key, you can delete them. Okay, yeah. it's a memory, it's not seen. If you believe that this is a bad memory and it's creating my bad emotional, I get more angry, more angry, and more hatred, and more hatred, and I'm gonna hurt somebody. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I have fear and phobia and trauma, and now we become so much fearful, so much stressful, so much time, because you let all the negative emotional multiply. So in a dark way, we call it creating cycle. If you start with love, joy, happy, and it creating openness, fairness, and trust, and it creating courage and righteousness, it follow the organ cycle. And the more you creating good virtue, and the bad emotional have less room to grow. But you have to you have to understand emotional is here to stay. So the Tao said, don't try to get rid of it. You have nowhere to get rid of it. Only find a balance. balance. You only find a negative, positive, find a balance. Are easy that I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to destroy you. Like what we said, all these ones are created by devil. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do? Kill the devil. Destroy the devil. <laughs> How long are we fighting a devil war? How long? No? How long are we already fighting the devil war? We are forever. Forever. Because yeah. why? The negative... The devil is within us and God is within you. So the whole key is make the God and devil balancing and talk together and don't fight and kill each other. And that's much easier. That's what the United Nations try to do. Don't kill each other. Let's sit down and talk in a round table, right? Mm -hmm. Find a solution. This is the key in the Tao. Find the yin, yang, tai chi is negative. It doesn't mean bad. Positive, it doesn't mean good. Uh, negative, it doesn't mean devil, and positive, it doesn't mean God. But it's something within you. You All you have to do is find a balance. Yes, yes. Very, very interesting. Okay, so, so Master Chi, you also talk about the destiny of a human being and also the importance of the time and the date of a person's birth. Why is it so important uh, when we are born? And also, how do we affect our destiny? Uh, let's talk about the first step. The first step, I grew up in a very religious area. That means I'm a Christian. I'm born in the church in the Second World War. And because when I'm in Thailand, because the Thailand side with uh, Japan, so the American and bombed the Bangkok. And I born in Bangkok. And, uh, and my mother is a Christian. So they said the the American when they see the church, then we not bomb it. So so my mother ran into the church and I born in the church, and I grew up as a Christian. But you have big Buddhism, very big Hinduism, very big uh, Hindu and um, the the India. So it's very big there. Okay. Now I study all these things when I small. I'm very interesting. And when I grow up, I said, there's something there. But when I learned the Tao, I said, I like this. Number one, a very simple in my practical Tao. Tao, they have a religious, and mine is practical one. So the first step is like this. In the, in the universe, now this is what the West discovered and put the East thought is right. Now the West, they discover that they take one million picture of the universe and many, many billion dollars to prove that the whole universe is covered with what it like, and they're interconnecting to each other, okay? And like a big why, why, why web. And the conclusion is that they are connecting together like our brain. So the whole universe, they are interconnecting. So the, the, the last conclusion, they said, they must have, they have intelligence. 
Mm-hmm. So the universe interconnecting to, like our brain cells is so complicated. It's the biggest why, 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 why web and any web that we have in our world here. In the universe, it's big, big why, 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 why web. And every connection, they have one intelligence. And they said they have intelligence, but they are energy. And the Tao said our soul and spirit are energy. And the Tao always said, in the universe, there are newborn intelligent burning every every day, every moment, but they are newborn. Mm-hmm. If there are no chance to take a physical container, eventually their energy they will disperse and they're gone. Okay? Mm-hmm. They will disperse and they're gone. But if they have a chance, so sometimes the Tao said you have to have a good chance to get a physical, or we call Compare like you, you have to buy a lottery and you get a jetpot and you have a chance to choose a body. So mm-hmm. for the first we come to this is a chance and you have to have a good chance for that. Now, why the, the newborn child, newborn soul spirit need physical? Because they need to be grow. So they, they need a physical, they have container and the container can contain the soul and the spirit, and they don't disperse. And the most important part of the physical is, number one, they can produce, they can take a raw material and digest them, absorb them, and the air we breathe in and the original form we have in combustion to chi. So that is the major part is that the, our physical, the most complicating is digestion, absorption, elimination, mm-hmm. because they can producing chi for us. Now, if we say the soul and spirit is intelligent, so the energy that we produce, they are very similar with the intelligent energy. So energy and energy, they are the same species. So everything is connected. All of these things are connected. The, the moon and the sun. Yeah, yeah. So all this intelligent energy, we call the Aten one. The one that Aten go up to the source. Where are we coming from? So we are go back to the source and become one one of the intelligent connecting to million and billion intelligence that attend master attend one and help control this universe in law and order. And in the West, you know, you have you are one star general, you control how many people. You are two star general, you control how many army. And you are four star general, you control how many, you see? So now the universe have an order. They have to have law and order. So that's why when we inherit it, we only is a baby. Okay? It's a child. And a very seldom, maybe few hundred born to this world, they attain master already. Okay? Hmm. So that's why, but the rest of 99.999 is the a child or a newborn baby. That's all. So now in the Tao set, why we come to this world? Because we want to transfer more chi and feeding into our soul and spirit so they can grow up because they're the same species. If you recognize that the soul and spirit is energy, so now this energy that we produce can feed the soul and the spirit. Now, when we attend this, we can go back again. We can go back to when you grow up and educated and have wisdom and knowledge, you can go apply for the job in the universe, become part of the attain one. Okay. Or we got part of the connection. So that's what in the Tao said, this is the goal. This is the goal why we're here for. And now when you understand what you want to go to the source, you want to go back to where you come from, you have to tell other people. And that's our mission. And everybody have their own, we call professional. Everybody have their own professional so they have their own cycle. So you're born with engineer, with doctor, you have your doctor cycle. And everybody can start it to, okay, I know my destiny, I want to go back, how to go back. And that's what the qi gong, qi means energy. And this energy, when you have enough, maintain your health and give you a hand, if you have enough, it will go to feed your soul and spirit. And your soul and spirit uh, grow up, they will acquire, knowledge and wisdom by to the star we call the star wisdom all the planet all the stars store information 
store wisdom and knowledge. So then all of the stars, all of the galaxies, the sun and the moon are connected to us and they each have their own intelligence as well? Yes. They have and their own wisdom. We said the wisdom. wisdom. That means they store, they, they store information. Now we know that one particle of the dust in the space, they contain a lot of information inside it. And that's what the side they prove that. Okay, one tiny particle contains so much information inside it. And you think about <laughs> in a planet or star, how many dust they have. Okay, so let's say that a person has mastered the movement of energy, the movement of chi. They are balanced. They live a healthy life. You said that they go back to the source. We go back to a source of, of creation. We go Where back we to... From? Where we come from, yes. Then that is where the where the universe, where the intelligence that connecting to each other. Master Chia, when people fall in love, let's say there is a love connection between two people. They say, "Oh, it's destiny, it's fate. We are supposed to be together." What is happening between the two energy bodies of the male and the female? In the Tao, we divide. We call physical sex. That means male and female physically have sex. Okay, and that's one we are passing down our our gene to the next one. But in the spiritual way, everybody you have male and female within yourself. So when you have male and female within yourself, you started to uh, we call us soul sex. Soul sex means your soul and spirit when they grow up, they can have a um, merging and marry. Now in the Taoism, we believe that when you're born. In the astrology part, when you're born, we look at you and your base, your base, your base of your wife. So we look at your parents, your grandparents, your parent and grandparent, how they affect your father and mother, and how your father and mother affect you or affecting your wife. So we use the element part very easy. For example, if a woman born with metal. And a man born in the wood elements, we we can see that oh, the woman like a knife cutting the husband, okay, and this is very hard to stay together. <laughs> and that is a it's a very simple analysis. Or the woman is the water, and the man is fire, and it happened the fire is so little, so the woman always one uh, occasionally just pour a lot of water into the fire. And it's just, it's just like when a man want to do something or say something. No, 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 no. It's just like try to push it down, try to push it down. And it's a very discount. Uh, what we call the the nature of the human is like that. So they said, if you find the one either give birth to you or either support you or for man a husband is supposed to be control woman. So if the man is a metal and the, and the woman is a wood. But anyhow, now they are also difficult because women have more we call free, and a man always trim you, use a knife, trim you, or cut you, trim you, and cut you every day. And women don't want to stay. <laughs> But in the olden time, if you marry, whatever the husband gonna do, no, you have to follow. So that's how we we use a five elements to see the destiny of the person. So some people, when I look at like the woman, when they look at it. They're born with a metal, and they are tiger years. Oh, no! Any man will like to get close to this kind of woman. So that's why we believe that is the elements way. That is the destiny. So sometimes people they met somebody. Oh, I fall in love in in, in one day and three day you fall in love and you want to marry, but you never know that when you live for about six months to one year. Oh my God, it's not right, right? But you already married. So what are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. But in a dark way, we look at it and we tell you, "Hey, you are this element. I go again this element. So this is not exactly what you want to live on, because there are two different nature. A fire element you have, you have the fire, you have the earth, you have the metal, you have the water, you have the wood, and we have to look at them. They either go along together or either they cut against each other, and that is the major key of the destiny." The destiny. Sometimes they tell you that hey, you are the person are hard to marry. 
now unless you change your element and un unless you change something now you can find somebody this kind of element you can live with so sometimes you have to give and take something okay you cannot say sometimes the people the the element go against each other so much and there is an attraction it's, oh my god it's so attraction but actually they go against each other but when the people don't have a really understanding their own self they feel some very attraction so, oh this is the man or this is the woman but that attraction it go against him but he cannot feel that hmm. okay Master Chia, I want to ask about this because in Western culture, there's a very wide usage of drugs. Does the usage of drugs like alcohol or marijuana, drugs such as that, how does this affect the, the energy body? Uh, the first thing that we have to see why people are so used to drugs. Because number one, the people that sell the drugs, they make a lot of money. That is what the government are trying to do something. But the whole key about is the emotional part of it. Emotional burn a lot of energy like drugs. When we have too much emotional and we are so emotional, so stressful, we'll go to the drugs. Because the drugs, it seems like in the beginning take, oh, you feel so much energy, actually we activate the death hormone. We call the, the death hormone that's stored in the pineal glands. So this drug going in and make the body not suitable for the soul and spirit to stay because it takes out so much energy to burn like we close to death. So in that moment, the soul and spirit run out. True. And we see color, see music, uh, and you can walk through the wall, you can walk through the water, you can walk through the mountain, you can do everything. Because the soul and spirit run out and we see all this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And the people say, Wow, wow, my God, I never experienced this kind of experience. I want more. But every time you use this kind of drugs, a very strong drugs, it burns one tenth of your energy. All the energy that's stored in the kidney, the kidney is the worst because it stores so many genes and they burn them all out. And when they, they burn out, oh my God, you say, oh my God, they experience so much because. You see, we call 5 EMO and D DMT is separate the body out. That means when we're going to die, they have to right. separate the, our physical and, and the souls we have to separate them out. So in the process of separating them out, they use all the energy they have to push the soul spirit out. So in that moment, the soul spirit go to another level, see color, see light, see vision. And the people hook up, they say, oh my God, I want to explain this again. Mm -hmm. So they will use the drug again, and they see color, see music, hear music, and now we know, we find out some of them they are a minor, a much more slower, but it's still draining our energy. It keep us some kind of okay. We forget the pain, forget the thing, and you feel all oh, very good. And that's why in the in the hospital now they make use of the heroin mm -hmm. because when people are so much pain and suffering. You give them a heroin, okay? Mm -hmm. And it stops the pain. <laughs> and they feel oh, so happy, so good. But after that, you cannot use them again, and you have to really detach from that because they are stop your pain. They, so they discover that many, many kind of medical use. Yes, okay. if you use them in the right way, yes, okay? And you use them the right way when you have certain problem, but it's not solving the problem. The problem is the emotional inside us and the exercise that we need to because people have pain. When the body, you don't move them, you don't exercise them, you don't stress them, you don't do the qigong, you don't, especially the digestion, absorption, elimination system, you don't do the abdominal breathing, exercise the organ, flatten down the organ and squeeze them tight and inhale and bring more chi, more energy into it. If you don't do that, definitely you're going to get sick because all the, the organs are blocked. So that's why you have qigong, you have abdominal breathing, you have reverse breathing. Organs is like spun, like the heart, they can pump blood. So in the Tao Se, when you do the abdominal breathing, you have the second biggest heart in your whole body. So when you inhale, 
So when you exhale, you squeeze and you inhale, you, you breathing in. So like sponge, you squeeze them and you absorb more. You squeeze them, they absorb more. So you don't get the sedimentation in the organ. It blocks all the blood circulation. Master Shia, so then you speak of the inner smile. Using the inner smile technique, can can we talk about the inner smile technique? How does yes. one use that? The the whole key is this. I use them any time in my life, <laughs> and I teach the people. And now, actually, the West discovered this long, long, long time ago. Okay, but we never do anything with it. The West discovered that we sympathetic, and that's where sympathetic nervous system, and that form the brain coming down to the spine. And what is sympathetic? That means it speed you up or activate you. And for example, you get up, now the, the sympathetic, you started to move. Now make you walking, running, doing this and this and that and, 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 and thinking, you know. But sometimes in the business, we call business is war. When we go to business, we are making a war. So now when you're making a war, you make a sympathetic way, work so hard, so hard, we call stress. Pressure, stress, but if you continue stretching, it's like you're driving a car. In the beginning, you step, okay, 10 mile, 20 mile, 30 mile, 40 mile, 50 mile. It's like, oh my God, I go limit already. <laughs> but we don't know your limit. And you go out to 60 mile, 60, 70 mile, 100 mile, 120 mile, uh, uh, 150 mile. What are you going to get? You're going to get crash. Okay? So our sister, our body built up a parasympathetic mean you have to relax. So it's sympathetic, we say fight and fight response. So your good stress is what we need every day. I will do this, I do that, do that. And you say, oh, I'm too much now. You take a break and do the inner smile. When you inner smile, 100% you go into parasympathetic. So the definition of the parasympathetic is what? Rest and digest. Mm -hmm. You feed, or we call exhaust, you call feeding, and breathing. That means you feed the cells, you rest, digest, absorption, and feed the cells, and the cells started to grow and split. But in the other part is what? Fight and fight respond. When you go on too long, it becomes what? Disassociate. Mm -hmm. And everything becomes freeze because we are too stressful. And you never give them a stress like you step on, you continue step on the gasoline and you, you don't slow down. And that's what we are in our business world, one after another one. So we don't have war now. We don't have tiger running on the street. We don't have diagnosis walk on the street. But we have business. It's like war. Are fighting every day. You go to the office. Rah, 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 you go into the stock. You know, you go to the the the, the stock market. You know, okay, you you just get crazy over there. Mm -hmm. You go stressful, and people cannot take it. You know. So now. If you stress to it, if you run up to 50 mile per hour, uh, you, you better go into a slowdown <laughs> and slowly stop for a while. And that is the inner smile, parasympathetic. And the parasympathetic is start from the eyes. You smile, you relax. Now, the, and when you smile to the saliva, to your mouth, the saliva come out. That means the digestion started to happen. But when you're stressful, your saliva are dry and normal, norm, and it stops the digestion. When you're fighting and war, when you're fighting and fighting, all the strong men have go to fighting and war. And who's going to grow food? Who's going to make food? No. So that's why when we are fighting the war, we are always go with famine. So you don't have, but if you are fighting a war and no famine, we die. You know, in the Second World War, the, the most lucky one, you know, the world had the America. <laughs> you know why? In, uh, in the Europe, a famine. In the Asia, everybody is starved to death. But in America, no war. So everybody can grow food and supply those, those people, you know. And that's why we said when we go into war, nobody going to produce food. Only time when you relax. Now the body will start to digest, absorption, and get more energy in. When you have no food and you go to war, you're going to lose the war. And that is the key. You know how we eat breakfast, how long you need to digest the food. When you eat one meal, it takes four or five hours to digest food. And what happened? Lunch time coming again. About, and now you digest four and five hours, 
and dinner coming again. So every time you eat food, it takes four or five hours. But how many hours a day are we are stressed? How many a day we are working and so stressful? At least eight to 10 hours. Some people are 12 hours a day. So what happened? What happened? Digestion stopped and not uh, interrupted. Exhaustion interrupted. How can you win the war? You're going to lose the war because you have no food supply mm. and you have no new cell to fight your war. We are losing the war. So that's why the inner smile went. So the whole org, whole doubt are so much in, in, involved with the science. You smile to your, you make your eye a genius smile and leave up the corner of your mouth. Smile to the mouth until you have saliva. Now you relax and your body started to digest. You, to the, you smile to the heart, make the heart slow, but when you stress, the heart beats very fast. And you need oxygen, need more nutrition. And when you smile now, again, into the lungs, the lungs slower, okay? Now when you smile down into the stomach, now the stomach started to digestion. Uh, because when you stress, the stomach stops. And when you smile to the liver, the liver and gallbladder supply core bio, but in the stressful part, this is what the West make out the, the charge. So you look at the sympathetic and parasympathetic charge and you know it. So when you are stressed, the liver stops producing bio, but it takes the energy that's stored in the liver, convert to a sugar, we call glucose and keep and supply the cell to make war. So now you're depleting your supplier, but you have no supply to replace it. Are you gonna lose the war? That's why we get sick. And that's why we're so stressful and we stress out. And right. the adrenaline gland, when we stress, adrenaline gland have to secretion adrenaline. But in the parasympathetic, or we call inner smile, they don't have it. And when you are stressed, you know what happened to the bladder? It expansion, because you are stressed and nobody can have time to go to urine. <laughs> okay, if you are, you are in the middle of the fighting or the war and shooting each other and you say, stop, let me go to urine or go to toilet. Can you ask the people, uh, ask your enemies, hey, I need to go to toilet. No, <laughs> yeah. there yeah. are no way. So the body has know that. So when you're so stressful, the, the bladder expand and immediately what they tell the kidney. The bladder tell the kidney, stop filtering the blood. I, we are in a war, so don't send more urine to me because we are in a war. I have no time to go to empty my, my bladder. So when the bladder expansion, now the kidney stop filtering. And imagine how long you, you, you fight the war and stress. Now when you smile, the bladder contracting and you tell the kidney, hey, I am okay now. You can send in urine. And now when the when the bladder contracting, we go to the toilet and move our PP. Mm -hmm. Now when people are so relaxed, the next thing when you smile to the bladder, you feel arousal. Mm -hmm. And that is a very important part in this. But when people, especially men, when they're very stressed and when they make love, they immediately go into orgasm and ejaculation. Mm -hmm. And that's what we call the stress. You cannot control ejaculation. Mm -hmm. You are very quick mm -hmm. ejaculation because when you stressful, aware, or you have sex, the sexual organ immediately go into orgasm mm -hmm. and people very quick ejaculation. But when you are relaxed and make love, you feel arousal, arousal, more arousal, more arousal, more arousal, more orgasm, more orgasm like that. And that mm -hmm. is how you enjoy your sex life. So the inner smile is amazing. I like it so much. It goes exactly with we have the charge and we have all these things in the book. And it's very amazing thing that for thousands and thousands of years, the Tao discovered this inner smile. And it goes exactly in the parasympathetic. We need to activate and go in the sympathetic all the time that we have. As much as we can, we need to do the work. The, the Master Chia, Master I yes. want to, this is very, very intriguing, very intriguing. So I just, I also wanted to ask, uh, it, you talk about fasting as well. What is happening when a person is fasting and how is it affecting the energy system? My theory from my master, I'm not promoting any fasting, but I promoting, we call a Piku diet. You stop 
eating any grain or any bread for a while. Okay? Mm-hmm. And now, this is Harvard Medical School. They do the study. And the study, they discover very simple. You fasting for one or two days is okay. But when you fasting the second day, the body started to use your fat that you have. Yes, you get thinner because they use your fat. But in the process of using fat, you need, you need mineral, but mineral store in the muscle. And you need calcium because the calcium store in the bone. When we grow up big, uh, older, calcium are very hard to come by and the mineral are very hard to come by. But when you're fasting, in order to burn the fat, they need the... So we said, when you're fasting, you lose the fat, you lose the muscle, and you lose your bone. Hmm. Now, you are shut down the digestion, exception, and elimination system. And what happened now? The whole body started to shut down. My advice, people can look at the PIGU, P, I think P-I-G-U, PIGU, the book. You just look at the main text here book, PIGU, Energy Fasting. You need to okay. chew, so you only a few, few diet inside they tell you what. Like you have some nut and uh, some apple and some uh, white egg. That's it. And you chew them really, really, really well. So you could drink your food and eat your liquid. You chew your, your nuts, your goji berry, the Chinese prune and the walnut. And you chew them, chew them, chew them until so many saliva come out, we call pre-digestion. At the same time, if you chew, mm. the oxygen go in, we call liquid oxygen. When you chew and the nitrogen go in, we call nitrogen, a liquid nitrogen. Because the saliva can capture oxygen, can capture nitrogen. And the most important part about the Tao is that qi, energy, is beyond the oxygen and nitrogen, but their life force in the air and the saliva can capture the chi into the saliva. And now you have a very, very, so one tiny little food, you mixing with saliva, you mixing the oxygen, you mixing with nitrogen. If you chew, if you chew and chew and chew and chew until the saliva come out, they will absorb the oxygen, nitrogen, and the chi into it. When you absorb all these things, now you are into a different kind of state now. Now this one Little food that you have, it become many, many time portion of energy that you can have. Now, I promote this one rather than fasting. When people fast and they get all thinner and they can dress their all, all the side, and you know what happened after the eating? You make the body panic and the body say, oh my God, we are going to a big, 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 big famine. So when people go into famine, when they have money, what they do? The first thing, they stock a lot of food under the basement. Now, when you go back to eat again, the body panic. They say, okay, we have to, and they tell you to eat a lot of fat, a lot of fat again. And you eat it and you get big again. We call it your diet, okay? You, you, you fast. Master Chiu, yeah. once we have all of these things in balance and we're digesting, absorbing, and releasing energy properly, then what is the next stage? What is the core purpose of our existence? Is it happiness? Is it to like acquire wealth? How do we find a sense of inner peace? So the, and Tao, a sense said, of... the Tao said, listen, a little enlightenment, the first enlightenment, when you realize you have a soul and a spirit, you enlighten. And when you know that the soul and spirit is the energy, intelligent energy, you enlighten. The second enlightenment is when you know your soul and spirit is a baby. And the soul and spirit is the eternal one, cannot be died. You are second enlightenment. And the third enlightenment is that when you say, Oh my God, my soul and spirit in the infant form, if I leave the world and still in the infant or in a child form, my soul and spirit get lost. We call it wandering ghosts, hungry ghosts, because they lost the body. Nobody f- make the chi to feed them. So you realize this thing, you enlighten. And the third one, you have to find a method that can really teach you how to pre- create more chi. Because if you realize that the soul spirit is the energy, the intelligent energy, and the, our energy that we produce and the energy in the universe, if we can convert them and digest them in the system, 
we can feed them to the soul and spirit, and this is the purpose. If we don't do that, until we're going to leave this world, we die. The soul and spirit is still in an infant form, and they cannot go back to the source. So what they do? They just become a wandering ghost and a lost soul and a hungry ghost. And in the in the America, you have uh, what we call by a uh, Halloween day, right? The, the ha- Halloween day, what you do? Yes. You trigger the char- you trigger the sugar. You have a candy. And why you need to have candy? Because you want to fool the child. And the first time when I go to the U.S. and when the ho- Halloween day coming, and my friend said, hey, 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 tonight they have Halloween and you're going to have children come and ring on your door. You have to open and give them candy. If you don't open and give them candy, they will, they will keep on ringing your bell. Ding, 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 ding. And you give them, don't, have, don't give them enough candy. They will keep on ringing your bell. <laughs> and you know, you are so easy to trigger because the Halloween day means the ghosts are released. And I don't know, they know that the, this ghost is like a child. Where, how are you going to trigger a child? How are you going to fool a child? Give them a candy, and they will follow you. <laughs> it's very simple, huh? Uh, mm-hmm. Or you tell them, okay, yeah. give a candy, you go there, you bring me, you help me bring something to somebody. I give them a candy, and they do. Now we have chocolate, you know, right? <laughs> so now, all these ghosts are wandering around us in this world. It's the child. It's those people, the soul and spirit never grow up, and they cannot go back to the source. And they are wondering and they grow here. So in the Tao said, this is the worst thing in a human that you come to this world that you never know. You have a child or a baby soul and baby spirit. Only chi, or we call love, joy, happy is the good. We call good, good loving chi, good happy chi, good compassion chi, good kind of chi. This is the chi. They're going to feed the soul and the spirit. But you have to realize first that mm-hmm. I have the soul and spirit. And when i doing good virtue and doing good thing, all this energy, I can collect it, store them, and feed and transform them. I feed them to the soul and the spirit. So this is the only single goal in every religious. They do that. But now we don't have a goal. We don't understand it. But they do it. You have to do good. And you do good enough, you go to heaven. But how you doing that? Okay. Mm-hmm. Master Chia, uh, thank you so much for your wisdom and your work. You've written so many books, so much knowledge, so much information. I wish we had more time. Well, we, I think I could spend all day spending time with you. Thank you. Yeah, they, 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 can, they can very easy to go into universal healing DAO. And or to the YouTube or to to Amazon, just type Ming Tech Chair book or the YouTube, just type Ming Tech Chair video. There are three or four hundred script about how to practice, how to study. It's inside that free. And they also okay. can go into Universal Tao TV and you can watch the TV for five day free. Free. You can watch okay. anything that I'm talking about now. Very detailed. I am live in your living room and share the knowledge to you. And you can order any books in the main tech chair. You just go to the Amazon, Barn and Noble, and all these e-books, they have them all. They have them all. All 54 okay. books, they have them all in the, in the um, Amazon.com or, or in their eBay. They have all in the eBay. Yeah. Okay, Master Chia, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Guys, what an amazing episode. I sincerely appreciate it if you were here with us tonight. Thank you so much for listening. If you missed the introduction, seems like there's a slight bit of a fumble there. My fault. You can get to allmylinks.com slash thehumanxp. That'll give you the full network of everywhere we are that'll give you access to the community if you like this episode go to iTunes, leave us a review if you want to make a contribution 
that would be great too. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We will be back again next week. 